Solve the equation by the square root property. So what that means is we can take the square root of both sides to get rid of our squared power. On the left, that leaves us x minus 3. On the right, we have the positive and negative square root of 20, which can be simplified because 20 is 5 times 4. That's plus or minus 2 times the square root of 5 when we take out the square root of 4. So that means one of our equations is x minus 3 equals 2 times the square root of 5, and one of our equations is x minus 3 equals negative 2 times the square root of 5. Solving for x, we add 3 to get 3 plus 2 times the square root of 5 for the first equation. Adding 3 here, we get x equals 3 minus 2 times the square root of 5 for our second equation. Or that can be expressed as 3 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 5.